let's just get to it. I have so much to show you guys. I'm very excited about this. This has been a huge pain in my ass, but it has paid off in spades. I've been deep in the AI mines, just chipping away with my pickaxe, shoveling up all of the AI filth, and I finally hit a vein of gold. Actually, it's more like diamonds. And I've shoveled all of these diamonds into my AI wheelbarrow, and now I'm bringing them to the surface to share with you all. I have so much to cover, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. What we're going to be covering is control nets, LoRa's, and IP adapters. And let me just say first thing, each of these are going to be a separate video because there's a lot to cover. So I would wait until those videos come out to actually use these workflows, but some of them are already up on Patreon. So like I said on the post, if you're feeling froggy, leap. Anyways, back to the LoRa's. For those of you who don't know, LoRa's are like a small, neural network, a tiny little AI model that sits between your flux model or stable diffusion or whatever you're using and your sampler. And it's been trained on a certain style and it sits right in there in between your model and your sampler and it applies this style to the image as it's being processed. And this might be a hot take, but I'm just going to say right away that I think they're a huge waste of time. What do I mean by that? For starters, if you want a very specific look or style, you either have to get lucky and find one that someone has already trained in that very specific style, or you have to train it yourself. And as I was digging through all of the crap, I said to myself, I don't want to do that. But eventually I found some pre-trained LoRa's that you can install and use, and I will show you how to do that. However, the effects are kind of weak. So weak. And again, they're kind of vague like anime or Disney or something like that so if you want something very specific you're out of luck unless you want to train it yourself but let me just show you what I found really quickly and then we'll move on to the cool stuff so here is my Laura workflow pretty much identical to the standard updated flux workflow that I showed you guys recently there are a few minor changes but I'm not going to go into those right here I have another video specifically about that because it relates to testing. So for now, let's just take a look at the LoRa aspects of this. So nothing has changed in our prompt. We still have our clip loader, our clip attention multiply, our Sarge, our text prompt, and then that still goes into our flux sampler. And then that still goes through our latent multiply and our decode. And finally to our preview chooser, this plot sampler parameters is one of the new things that I will be covering. So you can just ignore that for now. It doesn't have any effect on the output image. So don't worry about that. And as you can see right up here in the top corner we have this new group which is our model slash LoRa loader group and like I said I will cover how to install this and use it in my next video but for now I just wanted to show you here it is it's very simple to use all you need is this node right here and one of these models so let's take a look at what it does in the prompt you can see we have a beautiful Nordic Disney princess with big blue eyes and a tiara in a dimly candlelit modern kitchen wearing jeans burnt top candles all that good stuff this is a prompt that I was working on for something else so I just went with that and then we have our Disney Laura loaded here with the strength set to one which is full strength and our output does look like a very Nordic blue-eyed Disney princess wearing a tiara in a dimly lit modern kitchen so you might think success right but let me just go ahead and bypass that and run this again and well you can see see that Flux does not need any help generating this image. It can do Disney Princess all on its own and the effects were pretty negligible. And just as another example, let's put this Laura back in the mix and go for the anime Laura and give that another run. And as you can see, we have pretty much the same image, slightly different style, but I wouldn't call it anime at all. So you can see that the effects are weak at best. So weak. And this isn't some 
rinky dink little Laura model from some obscure corner of the internet. This is the latest and greatest from X Labs, pretty much brand new, pre trained Disney and anime Lauras. So, unless you're going to collect a whole data set of images and train your own Laura for your very specific purposes, the effects you're going to get from pre trained Lauras that you will find, even the best of the best, are going to be pretty disappointing. So, on to the good stuff. Next up, we have the IP adapter. All right, so this is the IP adapter workflow. Again, it is nearly identical to the standard updated Flux workflow that I showed you guys. Again, we have this little plot parameters thing here, but don't worry about that. That's just for the little data that you see at the bottom of the image right there. And for an IP adapter, rather than using a model that sits in between your model and the sampler, you get to input an image to use to style your generated image. So we have the same prompt here, the beautiful Nordic Disney princess with big blue eyes. This is one of the first images that I ever generated whenever I first installed Comfy. I wanted to use her as a style for this image. And again, using the IP adapter is very simple. All we have is this node right here, which loads the IP adapter, and then this node right here, which sits between your model and the sampler and applies the IP adapter as the image is generated. And you might have noticed, but the images are are different so in the generated image we have a person more facing us the camera angle is slightly different the top is different she's not wearing long sleeves but as you can see it applied the style of this woman in the right as well as her surrounding environment to the generated image so very successful indeed the IP adapter is going to be very useful when you want to generate a new image with a style from another image so for example if we wanted our beautiful Nordic Disney princess sitting on a park bench we could do that since the image is going to be quite different let's crank the strength up quite a bit and as you can see we have a beautiful Nordic Disney princess with blonde hair blue eyes very similar texture on the burnt orange top and jeans so you can see that the IP adapter is both very powerful and also very simple to use and if we want to increase the Disney vibe of our Nordic princess, we can simply turn the strength down on our IP adapter and we will get a much more Disney vibe. Now, what if you have a very specific image and you want that exact image in a different style? Well, that's where control nets come in. So let us take a look at the control net workflow. Again, nearly identical to our standard flux workflow. We just have this extra group up here with some control net nodes. We first pass our image through this canny preprocessor. This node just loads our control net and then this node applies our control net. And you can see the effect of what the control net is doing. It has extracted all of the edges from this scene so you can get the exact image in your new style. So let's see what the effects are. With the strength at 0.44, which is on the lower side, we have our Nordic Disney princess here in the exact same pose as she is in our input image. The surrounding environment is nearly identical. And so that is what the control net can do. Instead of generating a new image in the style of your old image, like the IP adapter, did this has given us nearly our exact identical image in a new style so the IP adapter is going to help you generate a new image in the style of your old image the control net will give you your exact old image but in a new style and again we can just turn the strength up a bit and see what that does and as you can see we have our Nordic Disney princess here looking very realistic almost identical to how she appears in the input image but with a very sort of realistic Disney vibe and of course tiara now while I was doing all of this I got to thinking what if I simply use my input image as my latent image and I have to say I was quite shocked by the results and so here we have our standard 
flux workflow there is nothing new here no tricks all we've done is simply replaced our empty latent image with this input image here we use a VAE encode to encode this image so that it can be passed in as a latent image to our sampler we have our same prompt here and when I run this with the denoise set to 0 0.85 0 0.95 and 0 0.99 you can see these are the results the less we denoise our input image which is acting as our latent image the more we allow that input image to shine through so you can see where it's set to 0.85 it is very dark and shadowy like the original input image nearly everything in the image is identical to the input image and as we denoise more and more of that original image we get more of our generated image shining through which is our Disney princess. And so we get this very Disney effect. And so that is a very simple, very powerful way to restyle images that you want the exact or nearly the exact image in a new style without installing any new nodes or any new models simply by using your input image as your latent image that is input to your generation process. I was really shocked by how well that turned out. It turned out to be a fantastic shortcut to get really powerful results with very little effort. So that's all I have for you guys today. I am going to get on to the LoRa control net and IP adapter videos so you guys can have them as quickly as possible when they are posted i will add video cards or links in the description or both right around this area make sure you're subscribed if you're not already like the video if you found it useful and be sure to share it with anyone you know who might find it useful as well i'm going to get on to those and i will see you guys on the next one take care